so today I filmed this hair tutorial um a lot of you guys asked me about it when I wore it in my summertime makeup tutorial and yeah it's like super easy um I'm trying to look at my lip it looked like it's like missing something but it's a shadow so yeah um a lot of you guys asked me about my hair and it's just simple two braids I mainly do this when I'm gonna apply a wig of some sort but I do it because those days if I don't feel like putting on a wig or I'm just running out to the store or something my hair is still technically done underneath and it's still protecting my ends and all the other jazz you don't have to tuck your ends in like I did but I feel like if it's a protective style you want to protect all of your hair including your ends um yeah that is pretty much it I know I'm going to get some questions on my makeup so on my lips I have one of my um favorites that I wear, I've been wearing a lot this summer and I'm probably going to continue on into the fall and winter because it's just a really pretty gorgeous like nude everyday lipstick and that is the uh I think it's like LA Splash yeah LA Splash um liquid lipstick in the color ghoulish a lot of um a lot of um, companies are coming out with colors like this. They have another one called OG Ghoulish that I want to get. But this is one of my favorites. And I think it was only $12. But I think they have gone up on their prices. So I think it's about $13 or $14. But it's well worth it because I get a lot of compliments and a lot of questions on what's on my lips when I wear this. So yeah, highly recommend that. And no, I was not paid, sponsored, sent, any of that jazz. I purchased that with my own coins so yeah um what else am i gonna get questions on whenever i wear these earrings i get questions about my earrings they are from forever 21 um i think that is it on my face i just have my normal face stuff uh excluding i did like i said in my last video i ended up I got my sasha buttercup setting powder that i have been waiting for for some time um, it was nothing on their part. It was just me going to pick it up because I have all of my package not all of my packages sent somewhere else and not to my home. So yeah, um, I finally got that. Um, what else? I did use their eyeshadow adhesive. It was sent to me, including that. I didn't buy it. So yeah, it was sent to me. I'm guessing this is just like a little sample size, and it just looks like this. It's a white base. Um, so I'm trying this out for the first time today and I'll let you know how I like it. It reminds me of Milk by NYX. So that would be great if I really like that and I could use NYX for something else, which I normally do anyway. Um, I've just been using my NYX that looks like this, the, um, Set It On Freddy. I like this for those times when I don't have either Ben Nye Banana Powder or, um, what else? Or I don't have, or I'm not using this, but it is a bit more of a cool tone, yellowish, peaches color. Like, this is how they look next to each other. And as you can see, like, this is more of a cool tone color. And this is more yellow, warm tone. So I really like using warm tone powders on underneath my eye to set my concealer because my concealer is normally um, a yellow based concealer anyway. So yeah, that is pretty much it. I did use my JD Glow um, Saks Fifth that just looks like this. I get a lot of questions about my highlights and 9 times out of 10 I'm using that. That's how it looks on the finger. Their highlights are super, super pigmented. That is how it looks swatched. So yeah, I've spoken about these before in my video so I will leave them down, but leave the link to them down below as well. Um, I think that is it. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Please leave other suggestions that you'd like to uh, see down below. I do have some colorful makeup tutorials coming to you guys soon. I recently got the Wet n Wild Ven uh, Venice Beach um, palette. So yeah, that is pretty much it. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Don't forget to vote. I'll leave the link down below. I'm sorry if I scream, but yeah, don't forget to vote. You have until August 8th and you can vote up to three times a day. So yeah, I will leave the link down below for that. Just go to Pacifica Muse and you can use either your Facebook or your Twitter to do so. So yeah, uh, finally, I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I'll talk to you soon. Bye. 
Hey guys, okay, so I'm starting off with freshly washed hair. Sorry if I'm talking a bit loud. My air conditioner is running and I don't want to, so I'm pretty much competing with that sound and my voice and yeah. So right now I'm just applying some coconut oil to mainly my ends and that is pretty much it. I didn't apply any leave-in or anything because I didn't want it to conflict with the um, Eco Styler Gel. And leave that white residue just in case I do decide to wear this hairstyle out. So that's why I applied the coconut oil and I will be okay, I promise. Right now, I just apply the gel to my edges and to the center part of my hair. And I'm just going to begin off braiding it. Um, I'm doing small sections, so this is not really technically a braid tutorial. It's just showing you what I do to get that hairstyle. Um, like I've said before, in many of my other braids, um, I don't think that I can teach you by making a video on how to braid. Um, it's just something that you have to learn and practice yourself, which is how I learned many, many, many years ago. So yeah, well, I made it seem like I'm like 50 or something, but yeah, I'm just braiding it and I'm making sure that I braid close to my face. Um, you can take it back further, but this is just how it looks best on me. I don't like it how it looks going straight back. I like it to bring, I like to bring it closer towards my edges and to the front of my face. It just frames my face well that way. So just keep braiding, just keep braiding. So yeah, I'm done with that side. And now I'm just going to show a closer up version of the same technique. I'm applying some oil to my hair, making sure I focus it in on the ends. I'm applying the gel. I'm applying it to the center of my hair and the edges. That's it. I do pick up a bit of gel along the way, as you'll see. Um, just to make it an easier process, but I'm picking up smaller pieces. I'm not picking up really big pieces, if you can tell, which takes a bit longer to braid, but it's well worth it. I just like the way it looks when I pick up smaller pieces opposed to, uh, huge chunks. Phenomenon. Okay, so I'm just braiding, just braiding, just braiding. I'm not being rough on my hair. It looks like it. I was looking like, man, it looks like it would be painful. But it's not. It's just me trying to actually braid. If you have thick hair, you understand what I mean when you're trying to braid it. It's legit a workout. So right here, you see me picking up more um, gel. It just helps me uh, get through my hair because it's so much thicker when it's... Um, in this state opposed to if it was straightened so I'm just continuing to braid it all the way to the end I do apply a bit more gel to the ends um, I didn't do it here but on the other one I did and I'm just going right back behind and applying some more of that gel to my edges because you want your edges to lay so I'm laying my sad burns down Did I say sign burns side burns and I'm applying a rubber band to my hair to tuck my hair in because I don't like them hanging out. And I'm just going to use one little um, pin to pin and tuck that in. And that is how it looks in the back. So now I'm just going to take my comb. I usually use a toothbrush and brush down those baby hairs. For those who don't like baby hairs, you can skip this part. But I love my baby hairs, so... Yep, that is pretty much it. I hope you guys enjoyed this video, and I will talk to you soon. Bye.